A video has appeared online showing a huge morgue with dozens, possibly hundreds of dead Russian soldiers. The video is quickly spreading across social networks, showing the scale of Russia's tragedy and the cruel price that Russians are paying for Putin's military adventure. The published footage shows a huge hangar filled with zinc coffins containing dead occupiers. Russian political observer and journalist Alexander Nevzorov notes that the continuous and rapid flow of dead Russian soldiers is packed and laid out in zinc coffins, which are then nailed into wooden boxes and sent home to the Russian regions. The rumor of body sorting facilities in Russia has tripled in the last year alone, and today there are already 82 of these huge hangars that have replaced the small nooks where the bodies of the dead were recently stored. These boxes are sometimes used to place several bodies at once, relatives or other loved ones. In the process, flow plants do not bother identifying the remains, relying on the fact that families receiving sealed zinc coffins will not specify their contents. The journalist notes, The brutal consequences of this war for Russia are becoming increasingly obvious, and the country itself, every family that loses loved ones, pays a terrible price. The willingness of the Russian military to sacrifice thousands of soldiers in a blunt force effort to gain territory has been a defining feature of the war. Viewed from drones above the battlefields across eastern Ukraine, Russian soldiers can be seen frozen in the moment of their deaths, motionless on frost-covered fields, pockmarked with craters. They are sprawled atop the blasted-out armored vehicles or alongside destroyed tanks. Many Ukrainian soldiers have also died in the bloody battles that play out every day, but most of the bodies he collects are Russians left behind. Ukrainian forces running low on ammunition. There are more Ukrainian soldiers dying under relentless assaults by the better-equipped army with more men. The recovery of the dead is not always possible as fighting rages along the front, sometimes for weeks. Or months, but repeated visits to areas near the most violent pockets of fighting, along with testimonies of Ukrainian soldiers, medics and volunteers who tend to the dead, the accounts by Russian military bloggers and visual imagery released by soldiers on both sides offer a searing window into how death looks on the battlefield. <laughs> Ukrainian fighters have repelled a large-scale offensive by the occupying Russian army in the direction of the city of Kupiansk in the Kharkiv region. The Ukrainian general staff reported this. The invaders, advancing with 15 armored combat vehicles, including tanks and armored personnel carriers, moved in two columns from the Lyman district. The advancing vehicles became targets of artillery and drones of fighters from the 14th and 116th brigades of the Ukrainian army. As a result, a large number of vehicles, along with paratroopers, were destroyed, and the attack was stopped. According to Ukrainian fighters, some of the soldiers of the occupying army were dressed in Ukrainian army uniforms. The goal was to confuse Ukrainian fighters.
The Israeli military on Thursday said that its troops continued limited, localized, and targeted operational activity in southern Lebanon. It released video said to show troops in action in southern Lebanon and footage showing the destruction of what it described as militant infrastructure. The Israel-Hamas war began after Palestinian militants stormed into Israel on October 7, 2023, killing some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting 250 others. Lebanon's Hezbollah group began firing into Israel on October 8, 2023, in solidarity with Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Since then, more than 3,200 people have been killed in Lebanon and more than 14,200 wounded, the country's health ministry reported. In Israel, 76 people have been killed, including 31 soldiers. A top Russian defense official has attended China's premier military showcase in a show of unity between the countries as Russia continues its military operation in Ukraine. Sergei Shoigu, secretary of the Russian Federation Security Council, was in the southern city of Zhuhai to view Chinese and Russian aircraft and other military hardware on Thursday. They included Chinese J-22 and J-35A stealth fighters that China says are rivals to the latest U.S. jets in the same class. Shoigu, a former defense minister, appeared to be on a mission to reaffirm ties between the countries as Russia's Operation Ukraine has largely stalemated and Moscow has turned to North Korean soldiers to boost its troop numbers. China is not known to have directly provided military support to Russia but has sold a dual-use technologies that could boost its ability to attack Ukrainian targets. China is also a major customer of Russian oil and gas amid international sanctions blocking Russia's access to global financial markets. Weeks before the start of the military operation in Ukraine, Russian President Vladimir Putin visited Beijing and the side signed a lengthy cooperation agreement pledging an unlimited partnership. The countries have held several joint military exercises and aligned their foreign policies to challenge the US-led liberal Western order.